At the 2023 Florida Relays in Gainesville, Florida, we saw Arion Knighton and Joseph Von Belay clash for a chance at a sub 10 second 100 meter clocking. This race was a big deal and many people around the world were very excited because at the moment, Knighton is arguably the greatest junior sprinter to ever grace the track with world junior record in the 200 meters and a ridiculous claim to the 200 meter GOAT title in this event. But at the moment, he still hasn't broken the 10 second barrier in the 100, holding a personal record of 10.04 seconds. With potential history now just a few seconds ahead of him and a very solid day for racing at the Florida track, how exactly did these two superstars favor in this 100? After a fair start, it was Jelani Walker, Arion Knighton, and Andrew Hudson in lanes 6, 7, and 8, leading the way after a solid opening 50. However, with a very fast close, Arion Knighton took the victory with a finishing time of 9.98 seconds, his first sub-10 second clocking in the history of his 100 meter career. But, there was unfortunately the slightest of illegal tailwinds, as Knighton's 100 meter clocking of 9.98 came with a tailwind of positive 2.1 meters per second. Now many of you are probably aware of this, but the wind gauge reading of 2.0 meters per second is the maximum legal wind for an official time. So given that this was 2.1 meters per second, this was just 0.1 meters per second above the legal limit. This is just sad. This is truly unfortunate. Given that this performance was under 10 seconds and he was just over the limit for this performance, he basically ran a sub 10 second clocking here. But according to the record books moving forward, his PR is still 10.04 from 2022. Now, taking a look at history, to this day, there have still only ever been three junior runners who have broken 10 seconds. And these include Letsile Tobogo from Botswana, Trayvon Bromel from the United States, and Bawaji Nkrume from Jamaica, who just a few days ago ran a 9.99. Despite not quite getting the appropriate wind required for a legal time, this race was still a fantastic way to open up his 2023 outdoor season. And finishing in second was Jelani Walker in 10.01. Third place was Joseph Von Belay, making another miraculous comeback to finish in 10.04. And finishing in fourth was Andrew Hudson in 10.05 seconds. This was a tremendous showing from the Florida contingent that is Arion Knighton and Joseph Von Belay. But the real question now moving forward is what are these two athletes going to run in the 200 meters this season? If we take a look back at what they did in 2022 in the 100 meters, we can see that what they just ran is practically the fastest times that they were able to achieve last season. And for Knighton, his time is actually slightly faster than his all-time best. This means that both athletes have not only gotten better at their starts, which is a big requirement in the 100 meters, but they have improved drastically at getting to their top end speeds faster. For Knighton, he's pretty good at getting out of the blocks, and he's certainly good at maintaining top end speed for a 200 meter race. But Joseph Von Belay definitely struggles at getting out of the blocks, but somehow he closes like a train, making up insane ground on everyone else and somehow still achieving world class times. Considering that the 100 meter dash is not either Knight nor Fon Belay's primary racing distance, this tells me something quite significant, and that's that both athletes are ready to throw down in the 200 meters. For 2021, Knighton and Fon Belay placed fourth and fifth in the Olympic finals of the 200 meters. Fast forward one season to 2022, and Knighton placed third in the world championships, while Fon Belay placed fourth. And if these two continue to improve, like they have over the past two seasons, I think it's entirely possible that once again, they could both jump up yet another placement in the world championships, potentially winning the silver medal and the bronze medal in the 200 meters. But I am still gonna have to go with Noah Lyles for the 200 meter gold medal. He was just so fast last year, he was so consistent, and I fully expect to see him at the very top of the podium once again, barring some kind of injury or huge racing obstacle. However, in reviewing this 100, it is looking like another powerful team is assembling down in Florida. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.